Hi everyone, my name is Hassan Saleem. I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and I'm practicing here in Saskatoon. The name of my company is SHS Immigration Services and you can find all my social media accounts in the comment section below. Now this video is a different one because it's a quick video. We will be talking about five common questions which are actually pretty basic but at the same time really important. So let's get started. So the first question today is something that gets asked a lot, which is simple, but still creates some kind of confusion. So I'm here to answer that question. So the question is, I am a new permanent resident in Canada. Congratulations. Can I live somewhere other than the city of destination on my confirmation of permanent residence? Well, many people get confused. There are lots of uh, rumors out there that you cannot move to any other city or any other province which nominated you. Well, that's not a thing. Um, you have the rights to move anywhere you want, even other than the city of uh, which has been mentioned in the confirmation of permanent resident uh, residence. So uh, it doesn't matter which city was written. You can always move to any other province or any other city if you want to. Uh, you have the complete right. So let's clear that once for all. Um, you're not supposed to stay just in the city which nominated the province nominated you. You can go anywhere you want to. Um, the second question today is uh, how long will it take to process my application? Well, it's a tough one. These days, since uh, COVID, it's really tough to predict uh, the timeline or the application, how long it would take. Even if you go to uh, the processing time page on Canadian immigration website, it's a lot of time. But still, it varies from case to case. Some can, people get lucky and the processing is done a little earlier. But right now, you can always check on the Canadian immigration website, but uh, all I would advise is be patient because these days it's really tough to say the exact processing time. Um, just make sure you, pro do your, you do your due diligence and provide all the information which was required and uh, just hope for the best that uh, your number comes in soon. But uh, keep checking uh, your application status. Third question today is, uh, what are the requirements of becoming a Canadian citizen? Well, it's a very simple one, but uh, let's talk about it. To become a Canadian citizen, you must be a permanent resident, of course. So you should have stayed three years out of the last five years in Canada. That is 1,095 days. You need to have uh, stayed in Canada and then you should have filed the taxes. Um, and also in order to apply for the citizenship, you have to pass a written test, which uh, is 20 questions and uh, the passing marks are basically, you need to uh, have 16 right answers out of those 20 questions. And those questions are about responsibilities and knowledge of Canada. So make sure you prepare yourself well before uh, giving that exam. And you also have to prove your language skills that you can speak English, um, and understand English. So that's something you also have to provide in order to become a Canadian citizen. All right, so the fourth question today. So the fourth question is, can I travel or how much can I travel with uh, when it comes to money to Canada? Well, there is no limit. You can travel with as much as you want, but uh, after 10,000 Canadian dollars, which can be a combination of your stocks, which can be your cash or any currency, um, you have to declare that. Uh, that is really important. So many people say you cannot bring more than 10,000. No, that's not true. You can bring more than 10,000. But the thing is, you have to mention that when you arrive in Canada, that uh, you have more than 10,000 Canadian dollars. The last question today, the fifth question is, why do people choose Ontario or specifically Toronto as their city of destination or the place they, where they want to move? And well, of course, Toronto is one of the biggest cities of Canada. Uh, it is very diverse, um, not just with the population, but also you can find different kinds of jobs there, maybe uh, for the technology, finance, different diverse uh, industries are in Toronto or overall in Ontario, where that's why people want to go there. Despite uh, COVID-19 situation, it was still the top destination where people wanted to immigrate. And it's also very diverse uh, with the built-in support system for new immigrants, uh, with the access to resources, local ethnic communities, and a service to ease transition 
into Canada. So that's why most of the people select uh, Toronto, but you can obviously do your own research, whichever province or whichever city suits you more. Overall, Canada is amazing. Uh, you will love the experience once you come here. Um, Calgary, Edmonton, Saskatoon, Regina, Montreal, all cities are amazing. Sorry if I missed any, but obviously um, you can go to any province, any city, and uh, you would have a great experience. So this is all today's uh, five questions. I know they were very simple and uh, you might be thinking I knew that information already, but there are lots of people who might have uh, learned something out of it. And if you like my video, please uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos and um, let me know in the comment section what other kind of videos you would like to see. Uh, maybe for any specific program, any other questions you have, please post them in the comment section. So take care, stay blessed and have a great day.